Hello everyone, it's everyone. I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. I'm here for Married to Medicine Season 5, Episode 1. Now before we get into this review, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make sure your notifications wrong. So y'all, this is my first time reviewing Married to Medicine. I watched it every season. I just never did get around to, you know, watching it. I was going to make this a whole Sunday Bravo type of situation, but then I found that it's coming back on Friday. But hey, we're getting into this. Dr. Jackie dealing with Curtis cheating on her and then finding out in the blogs like it's one thing like you didn't cheat it on me and now it's out here in the blogs she has people blaming her for neglecting Curtis and basically saying if you had been you know treating your husband right he wouldn't have been out here cheating it's like she didn't even want to hear his side of the story of why he cheated. It was just that get your stuff and get out of my house. It's one thing I'm not going to deal with. You're not just going to sit here and just disrespect me and stay here. No, I, you got all these people out here blaming me, saying I was neglectful for to you. But they ain't looking at my side of the story. Like, I have to work. I'm out here saving lives. This is what I went to school for, trained for umpteen years for. And just because I'm not giving you the attention you need, you think it's okay for you to go out here and cheat on me? You couldn't have come to me? It's like she didn't know that, like, us not communicating was going to lead to Curtis cheating. And now it's like everybody's feeling it's like, well, dang, if Curtis can cheat on Jackie, this person has done nothing to anyone. Like, she's helps people out all the time and just doing great things. If Curtis can cheat on Jackie, what is it going to say about my relationship? So now Toy was feeling like, well, dang, Eugene, he's working, having to drive four hours away just so he can take on extra shifts just so we can get this debt down by the way they paid down half of the debt even though they had to go on a budget and you know budget is just not into Toya's repertoire it's like budget is like a nasty word to her but like girl instead of trying to live all big like this y'all wouldn't be in this situation you trying to live like the joneses like you can get you a cute little four bedroom house you don't need no dog on eight bedroom house with a theater room and a ball a ballroom a tennis court a basketball court a swimming pool you don't need all that it ain't but four y'all Yo, two little boys they can have each have their own room you and eugene have your room have a little two-car garage and keep it pushing we ain't even got to live like that because having to downgrade you know kind of defeats your whole i'm grander type of situation if you gotta do that i'm just saying but eugene is like um I have to work. He's like, you know, he that he's the breadwinner. Yes, she makes money for the show, but like once the show's over, I'm still gonna be the one bringing in the money. And if I got a dog going to drive four hours away, so I can take on extra shit, so we can get this debt down, cause we ain't trying to be paying the IRS up out of here. This is what I gotta do. You gonna have to make a choice whether we having sex and not paying the IRS or me out here working so we can get this under control. You gonna have to twit you gotta figure out which one you want. That's what I got from him with his little um conversation with um Toya. But Toya's like what if he's gonna be out here cheating? He ain't got time to cheat. He out here trying to pay bills working. He ain't thinking about that, but just since, you know, it's happening with Jackie, Dr. Jackie and Curtis, what we, what am I gonna supposed to think about in my relationship? So, we have Miss Quad, and she is taking full credit for Dr. G being the man he is today. Apparently, when she met him, he was in a run-of-a-mill hospital, working different places. But look at him now. He has his own practice. She has designed it in the way that she wants things to be designed for him. This is what I've done. I, this, me, this great woman, have made him the man he is. And I was like... I wanted to say, girl, you trying it, but then it's like, sometimes it just takes a woman to like build this man up, give him the confidence, like, you don't need to be doing that, you can be working for yourself, like, I was torn, but like, girl, you really trying it, like, you'd have made him who he is, but like, it could be, I don't know their relationship, I'm just saying. So, Dr. Heavenly's daughter, she is still too grown for me, and she 
sitting there talking to him about some, I thought you had straight A's. I thought you was on the honor roll. Like, I seen your grades. And this little girl gonna fix her mouth and say, um, you see the grades that I want you to see. That's why you think I'm on the honor roll. See, I'm gonna need Dr. Hamilton to sit this little girl down and sit him, sit her down, like, real quick, fast, in a hurry. Because, like, she's, what, 11 right now. When she get about 15 or 16, you ain't gonna know what to do with her. She gonna really be talking out of the side of her neck to you. So, she's dealing with Curtis cheating on Dr. Jackie. Like, she was so mad, acting like it happened to her. She taking out her frustrations on Damon. But, you know, he feels that Jackie should stay with Curtis, but he wouldn't stay with Heavenly if she cheated. Like, it's alright if a man does it, but you better not be out here in these streets treating because I'll give you the deuces in a minute. But as far as Dr. Jackie, she should, she, she, you know, you should, you know, forgive Curtis. It's almost like all the men think that, hey, you know, Curtis made a mistake, Jackie gonna hit, Dr. Jackie gonna hit and forgive him, but she's looking like, now what now? Like, he cheated. Got out the blocks with this woman. But Dr. Jackie should forgive him? Where, how did your math come up with this? Because I sure didn't get that answer. So, we have Dr. Simone. Things are doing great. Her oldest son, he's going to be headed out to school pretty soon. You know, the South, ha the South House is fine because it's closer to the boys' school, but it's also further away from her job in the hospital. So she can't really spend time with her family like she wants to because she got early appointments. Her house, like the hospital in her office is like clear on the other side of town. And if you get into the traffic in Atlanta at any given time, you mess around being there for the longest time. Like, I got stuck on, we got stuck on the highway for an hour because we missed the wrong turn. Just saying. It's just like Houston. It's like 45 freeway. There's not one time. It could be that I go 3 o'clock in the morning and it's going to be traffic. Like, why are people out at this time of morning anyway? But, you know, she's trying to deal with that and her oldest son going off to, you know, college. So... Toya and Quad meet up, and Toya says that Curtis had a reason to treat, with a reason to cheat. You know, and whether it was a good or bad reason, he cheated because Jackie didn't put Curtis at the top of her priorities. And Quad feels like I know I keep on looking at my phone, but I want to make sure I get this down correct. Like she doesn't feel that Dr. Jackie should have to lessen her ambitions because she's a woman. Like if she was a man. You know, seeing 50 patients and working out in the community and doing all these things, she would get a pat on the back. But since she's a woman, she should, like, cut back on her work so she can cater to her man. And she doesn't feel she can do that. She should do that. She she feels that Dr. Jackie, she could still be out here with patients and still be a good wife. It's just that Curtis chose to, instead of talking to his wife about how he's feeling about things, he chose to go out here and cheat. And she's trying to explain to Toy like, no, this isn't Jackie's fault. She's not the one who was in the wrong. If he was feeling some type of way, talk. That's the key to everything. Communication, that's all I'm saying. They should have been communicating with each other and not just, I'm feeling some type of way and I'm mad how we're going on, but oh, girl over here, she's looking kind of nice right now. Let me go see what this is about. So y'all, Dr. Heavenly just had to throw a waiting to exhale a party for Dr. Jackie. And I was like, I don't know if Dr. Jackie's going to be alright with that. But like, if you doing this for a good reason and it's good to your heart, okay, we're going to do that. So, we have Toya. She getting there. First of all, when she opens the door and there's a man there, she automatically thought that, hey, I'm at the wrong door. I have a question. Why does Toya have a bottle of oil in her purse? Can somebody please tell me that? Because we have these models here that are eye candy, they're foot massagers, they're, you know, massaging bags. But Toya has a full bottle of baby oil or some type of massage oil in her purse. Like last season, she had a full bottle of Patron in her purse, but now she got oil. I'm like, girl, you was a little too quick to get up and start rubbing this oil on this man. Like, she was like, gonna just 
pouring oil in all these dudes' hands, like go ahead and rub yourself down. Like I am not getting from Dr. anything from Dr. Eugene right now, but I'm getting everything from you rubbing this oil on you right now. But I'm like, girl, you have a bottle of oil in your purse. And then I was like, girl, what if I had a spill? You would have ruined your whole entire purse. Child. And what about that big old bowl of fries? Like, that looked like a fish, a goldfish bowl full of fries. I know, Ms. I know Dr. Jackie wanted some fries, but why do we have them in this huge bowl? Can somebody please tell me that? So this is when Toya, in my opinion, put her foot in her mouth. But she's like making it seem like Dr. Jackie gave Curtis the okay to cheat. She didn't say, at the reunion, she did not say, if you're unhappy, cheat. She said, if you're unhappy, I would want you to be with somebody who makes you happy. Meaning, say you're unhappy, you don't want to be in this relationship no more, we divorce, you get with somebody else. Not, I'm not happy, not tell you or tell you and we not communicate anymore and I go out and cheat. And everybody's looking at her like... How is it that you got that equation out of 1 plus 1? How did you get 554? We all got 2. How did you come to this conclusion? This is what everybody else is looking like. Like, How did you come to this conclusion? And it, the question, who should come first? The patient or the spouse when it comes to a doctor? Now... I don't know how I feel about that question because I always say you should put your family first. But then at the same time, I'm thinking if my spouse is a doctor and they need to go to the emergency room right now because they need, they say my husband was like a heart specialist. He's the head of the heart department at the hospital, cardiology apartment, if we want to be, you know, you know, technical terms. And my husband needed to leave and we were having date night. I, as a wife, was like, this is my husband's job to save this person's life. You go ahead and do what you need to do. We can do this again. But then at the same time, like, what if I was, like, very, very sick and my husband would had to leave? Would I want him to? Me, I'm the kind of person, I got a cold or the flu. Give me some medicine. Give me some orange juice. Give me some chicken or soup. And go, need what you, go and do what you need to do. But heaven was like, you know, she doesn't think that. Toya doesn't think that. Toya, she says, okay, like, this is when Dr. Jackie read Toya. And I'm going to read it. Dr. Jackie read Toya when she said, of course, that it's, you know, Toya's job to be her husband's everything when she, everything she has is from her husband. And I was like, if that isn't a read, I don't know what else he is. I know it didn't come across what Jackie did, but I wanted to read it the way she said it. Because I was like, that is so true. Of course, you're your husband's everything because everything you have comes from him. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have that nice house, a nice car, all the things you have. So, of course, you're going to want to be your husband's everything. And Quad gets to preach it and she says... We all at one point, you know, weren't receiving what we needed in our relationship. And let's just say I wasn't getting it from you and I presented to you and you didn't give me what I needed. Now I'm free to get where I wanted to get it from elsewhere. That wouldn't be acceptable. And that's what Dr. Not Dr. Curtis. But that's what Curtis did. He said he wasn't happy. But instead of relaying that, he just went out and did what he did. Yes, he said he wasn't happy, but he took it. It is okay. I'm not getting it from me right now, so I'm gonna go elsewhere. And I was like, Yes, quiet girl for preaching. Like, that wouldn't be acceptable for us. I'd be like, Look here, such and such. I'm not happy right now, and I bring that to you, and you don't do anything. That doesn't mean I can go out here and cheat. That means that me and you, we need to communicate even more. But quiet, she still feels that Jackie, she should, you know, forgive Curtis for what he's done, his transgression. Like, it wouldn't be so easy for her to leave Dr. Eugene because they have two kids together. Quiet don't know what she's talking about because she doesn't have any kids. She has these two dogs. It would be for, easy for her to leave. So I'm like, it would be easy for you to leave. Take your kids and, excuse me, take your kids and leave. 
Simple as that. You're not happy. Don't just, okay, since, you know, you the breadwinner, my kids need a daddy. I'm going to sit here and take this because that's just going to lead to, okay, she's cool with me cheating. I can continue to do that. And she's just going to sit back and do that. No, they they still going to have their daddy. You just get out of that and do what's right for you. But she still feels that, hey, you know, if he cheats, then oh well. Heavenly feels that if Damon cheated, it wasn't his fault. It's the other woman's fault. I'm like, how did you get that answer? Because he's cheating with her. Of course, you know, it takes two to cheat. But, you know, this other woman don't owe you anything. You ready to beat her down. And how is it not Damon's fault? I was trying to figure that out. I was trying to do my shenane math. It wasn't working. I was trying to do regular math. That wasn't working. I just was not coming up with the same answers that these two was coming up with. But, you know, Jackie said, you know, she was crushed. Like, she found out that her husband was cheating. And then on top of that, she found out through the blogs. Like, I I'm, I'm know if she was just on the internet one day or somebody sent her a leak, a link to the blog on the video or what. But that's how she found out that her husband's cheating was through the blogs. And like, how can you recover from that? The person that I trust the most betrayed me in the most hurtful way ever. You cheated on me and you did it in such a public way and now the world knows and now they're ganging up on me saying that I'll push you to do that and at this point like she's like you know one minute I could be like yeah I want to stay but ask me 10 minutes from now I don't know what I want to do so y'all that was the gist of everything that went on if I left anything out by all means leave a comment or video response and like I always want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos I want you to like this video comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends on Facebook Twitter Instagram and here on YouTube this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.